While it would be nice to be able to write an app that doesn't include any external dependencies, in most cases your apps will include some external code, whether produced by outsiders or from some other members of your team. Dependency management is a core part of Bazel. Remember, Bazel is designed to be a functional build system. By providing the same inputs to the build system, we always get the same outputs. This means it's critical for us to declare each dependency version. In some cases, such as including external rules, we even provide SHA values to ensure that we're dealing with correct versions. When it comes to Bazel, all our dependencies are declared in the workspace. As you know, a workspace can contain at least one or more build files. This means that while each dependency is declared in the workspace, that not every build file will make use of that dependency. Later, you'll see that when you create build targets, those targets will depend on other targets. When declaring those targets, you want the build targets to match the actual dependencies being used in the code. That is, your build dependency graph should match the actual code dependency graph. For example, here we have a network service that depends on a networking library that depends on a JSON encoding and decoding library. This is a direct dependency graph. Things get complicated when the network service starts using the JSON library in its code, but doesn't declare its dependency. It all works because the dependency is resolved through the network library. So if someone removes the dependency from the networking library to the JSON library, the build breaks. By declaring all our dependencies where we are using them, our app becomes resilient to these types of errors. More importantly, Bazel will be able to analyze the entire build and thus maximize parallel building. This allows builds to utilize all the cores on a CPU. This can expand to other developer machines, and in fact, it can expand to entire networks. So while it may take quite a bit of time to audit your code, the benefits are substantial. Google is well aware of that time investment. In fact, it took them two years to correctly adjust their code that resulted in better structure, but more importantly, faster build times.